Are you coming? Are you local here? Yeah, we see each other. They're not far. Yeah. Very nice to meet you. Yeah. 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 You were so cool. a bit bigger. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you were. Thank you. Thank you. Viral TikTok video of Duchess Kate performing her best royal dance moves. Royals have a knack for rhythm, and it shows with their dance steps. UK News. Duchess Kate and Prince William plan to drag Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis out of Buckingham Palace. UK News. King Charles confronts Meghan Markle over sleazy business practices of antagonizing Duchess of Sussex. Duchess Kate has been garnering attention for her dance moves in a viral TikTok video. The Princess of Wales isn't the only one to appear in the clip, which also features a compilation of the royal family's best dance moves. Prince Williams showed off his groove last month while enjoying Taylor Swift's Ellis tour at Wembley Stadium in London. His kids George, Charlotte and Louis also show off their knack for rhythm, but they're even more fun. Kate Middleton dances in viral TikTok video The video was shared on TikTok by a royal follower and has garnered 1.4 million views and nearly 150,000 likes since it was posted on June 24. The funny video was captioned, while Kate George and Charlotte dance quietly, William and Louis dance in a very funny way. In the clip to Abba's song Gimme. The royals seem to adjust their dance steps to the beat of the song as they shout, Gimme. In this compilation of royal dance moves. The Duchess of Cambridge appears in a long flowing blue and white dress, smiling and swinging her arms from side to side. Kate and William's youngest son, Louis, seems to be imitating his father's moves while attending a Taylor Swift concert. Princess Kate Middleton, who is battling cancer, has attended several royal events. The Prince of Wales swayed to the rhythm of the pop star's music. Performance in Trooping the Color was emotional, showcasing both her vulnerability and resilience as she continues to fight cancer. The Duchess of Wales candidly revealed that she experienced good days and bad days during her treatment, shining a light on the roller coaster of emotions that comes with fighting the disease. Report, Kate's cancer has strengthened her bond with Prince William. Kate's battle with cancer has reportedly made the Prince and Princess of Wales closer and more in love than ever before. It was just over three months ago that Kate shocked the world by announcing that she was undergoing preventive chemotherapy for an unspecified type of cancer. Since then, the 42-year-old mother of three has mostly stayed out of the spotlight to focus on her recovery with her family. On June 15, Kate returned to the public eye to attend the Trooping of the Color, a ceremony celebrating King Charles' birthday, with her husband and three children. Some have noticed the couple's body language, and how Kate's health scare seems to have brought them closer than ever. Kate was staring at William, an anonymous source told Us Weekly, adding that the couple looked totally in love. This was especially evident when the couple sat next to King Charles III and Queen Camilla stood. Before, they were more reserved. William and Kate are like a different couple, the source said. But now, they can't help but look at each other and smile. Another source told the magazine that attending the event despite her ongoing health issues was a courageous way for the princess to support the royal family and tradition. A day before the celebration, Kate said on social media that she was not out of the woods yet. I'm doing well, but as anyone going through chemotherapy knows, there are good days and bad days, she posted on Instagram. According to a source, the heir to the throne was by her side and encouraged her throughout the ceremony. William was grateful to have Kate with him, and it meant a lot to Charles. Prince William and Kate are also reportedly prioritizing family time. Later this summer, the royal couple will enjoy a beach holiday in Norfolk, east of England, with their three children, Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 9 and Prince Louis, 6. William and Kate are at their best when they're together as a family, the first source told the magazine. The kids bring them even closer together. 
Prince William and Kate Middleton are hiring a new trustee for their foundation, weeks after the princess announced she would slowly return to work. The Prince and Princess of Wales have appointed Sir David John Lewis as a trustee of the Royal Foundation Kate Middleton and Prince William have hired a new trustee for their foundation. Weeks after they announced she would slowly return to work despite her battle with cancer. According to GB News, the couple have hired Sir David John Lewis as a trustee of the Royal Foundation. Sir David a former Tesco boss who was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II in 2021, has joined the board. Presumably, Sir David will work with the couple on charity work, including campaigns against homelessness and addiction, as well as Kate Middleton's early development work. The couple's decision to bring new trustees onto the board appears to be a positive step for the couple, who called off their search for a new chief executive for the royal family earlier this year. The newly created position will require oversight of around 60 employees and was considered revolutionary as the role will not report to a private secretary. A palace spokesperson told Richard Eden, given the current circumstances, the household is focused on the princess's recovery and so no timetable has yet been set. The princess has since said she hopes to attend a number of royal engagements this summer. Last month, the Princess of Wales said she was good but would continue treatment for several more months, and even returned to public life at the Trooping the Colour Parade. On the days when I am well enough, it will be fun to take part in school life, spend my free time doing things that give me energy and positive energy and perhaps even spend a little time working from home. After confirming that she will attend the King's Birthday Parade, she said that while she is not out of the woods yet, she hopes to attend some public events in the summer. One of the highlights of this summer will, of course, be Wimbledon, and possibly a trip for the Princess. The Princess of Wales, who is patron of the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club, often attends tournaments in SW19 for a few days each year. The Duchess is an avid tennis fan and successful player herself, so the two-week tournament is a staple on her summer calendar. Last year, Prince George and Princess Charlotte also attended, making it a true family affair. She has said that she plans to work from home a little and attend meetings when possible. The princess may also decide to attend more important engagements. Since her early project is known to be her lifelong passion, we may see her at some public engagements in support of this endeavor. However, Kensington Palace confirmed the appearance would not be announced too far in advance, and said the gentle return should not be seen as a full-time return to royal duties for the Duchess. As the Duchess herself said in a statement, I am taking each day as it comes, listening to my body and allowing myself the healing time I need.